black slacks with accentuating off white pinstripes. Whoa, everything goes according to plan. You have been such a brat today. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you? Give you some candy and a beer. Let's go find your dom and piss them off. Hey! Are you coming? Well, only if you want to. I'm not your dom. Can't tell you what to do. I don't wanna spit. I wanna go. I wanna gag. I wanna choke. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. You do? So has anyone else noticed a significant crossover between people who are nerdy and people who are kinky? And that kind of got me thinking that we're all just basically fuck LARPers. Your pity for the week. I got a question. When you agreed to be my girlfriend, why didn't you tell me you were spoiled? Why didn't you tell me you don't know what no means? Cause that shit that gonna make me have to scam all motherfucking night. Ooh, put it down. No, put it down. No. I said, put it. Good try, but. In response to not. No, break it, it's fine. No, break it, break it, it's fine. Ooh. It's horny in here, you ain't horny. The Duke of Hastings is a dom, and specifically a brat tamer. In fact, anyone who can raise one brow is a brat tamer. And yes. Keep sassing me and see what happens. This is going to be a multi-part series on the Bridgerton men, and I might throw a join too just because I have a lot of feelings. If you're a brat, or you want to send this to a brat, have fun with it. This is a blind react. I promise I'm not going to try and get you to drink water. I'm not going to trick you into doing something that makes you compliant. That's not what this is. Are you ready? On behalf of all dominance... No. If this man spanked me, I would have taken a different approach than Claire. And she is a queen for putting him in his place, and it's a good thing she's the heroine of the book. Because if it were me, it would have no plot. I'd just be sitting around all day wondering, what can I fuck up around here to get him to do it again? I would love to give an example of this. Oh my gosh, a little bit just because like I miss my job a lot. Like I, I miss going to work. So this is gonna be for bratty subs in particular because everybody that commented on the video assumed that that was a piece of advice for doms. Nope, oh no. So let's say you're in the mood to annoy your dom for fun. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is pick something that annoys them but feels good to you. So we're gonna go with that sensory behavioral motivation, right? 
they're going to give you attention, thinking that you are annoying them in hopes of getting attention. Oh, no, sweetheart. This just feels good. Say, for example, dancing to really loud music. Screaming at the top of your lungs. Saying what happens when you put different things in the blender. Or literally just like physically sit in a really inconvenient spot. I am not responsible for any ensuing punishments. So the next day after my rendezvous, um, I texted my dom and I said, you really favor that right cheek, huh? And he said, hmm, didn't notice. And I was like, really, you didn't notice? So I sent him a picture of said cheek and thinking that he's going to see it and be tantalized and just go, ooh, my handiwork. I need to add more, which I agree, <laughs> add more. And because he's very cut and dry, um, he said, hmm, doesn't look too bad not what i wanted to hear so i said you're right it's not that bad i kept saying green and um this is all i'm left with he left me on red for 24 hours <gasps> wanted to cry <laughs> why why i need attention